Hey everyone, Checklist here with another Rio tutorial for the F14. Today's lesson is the setup and interpretation of the Link 4A and Link 4C data links. We'll be learning the differences between the two, how to set up your system for each type, and how contacts are represented on the TID. First is Link 4 Alpha. This data link is your primary line of sight feed from a source such as AWACS, early warning radar, and naval surface vessels. Sources can be switched on the fly due to the source not having radar line of sight on specific areas, or you losing line of sight to the source, or if a source is destroyed. As part of our startup procedure in a previous video, we already have the power switch set to the on position. Using right shift K, we open up our kneeboard and use the bracket keys to turn to page 3. Here we have a running list of data link sources and their frequencies, and this list is updated live depending on which sources are still alive, as well as which sources you currently have line of sight to. So if you don't see any on the page, check again after takeoff or upon gaining altitude. Here we see this E3 AWACS is transmitting data link on a frequency of 302.0. The first digit of the frequency cannot be changed, it's always a 3. The next three digits are manipulated by left and right clicking the rollers in between the number blocks. We will input 0, 2, 0 in the frequency field. Moving over to our TID, we see two contacts on the display, but you'll notice that contrary to radar returns, data link contacts use symbology that is inverted but with the same friendly, unknown, and hostile symbology. These data link contacts can be hooked just like radar contacts, and the TID will display all of the same information as when you hook a radar return, except for closure rate. By turning the radar on, we fill in the upper half of the icons with the radar returns. Since we have a confirmation of friend or foe from the data link feed, we can go ahead and designate each radar return as friend or foe in kind. The other data link type we'll be learning about today is Link 4C. Link 4C is also known as fighter to fighter data link. Up to four F 14s can be linked together, sharing their positions and radar returns as data link contacts for the other members of the flight. Unlike Link 4A, contacts are not automatically displayed as friend or foe. They initially show up as unknown and must be IFF'd by the radar source providing the returns. Link 4C functions exactly like Link 4A in all aspects except for the setup, but Link 4C cannot provide a feed to a Link 16 aircraft. You cannot provide data link to anyone outside your group of F-14s. For setup, first flip the data link power switch to the aft position, labeled as auxiliary. Ensure data link mode switch is set to TAC and the data link reply switch is set to norm to allow both transmission and receiving of data link information. Coordinate with your group and select a unique address for each independent aircraft and then have everyone tune the data link frequency to the same frequency. That's it. The aircraft will begin sharing their positions and radar data, which will be received exactly as if it was being fed from an AWACS or another source with the exception of the previously mentioned IFF data. I wanted to leave you guys with a small strategic lesson. It goes without saying that AWACS are very vulnerable to being killed by high-flying interceptors like Mirages and MiG-29s. So critical has their safety been on some multiplayer servers that in the past it was a common practice to safeguard the AWACS with either a direct or indirect escort by F-15Cs. At the time, the F-15C was the king of BVR combat in DCS. Nothing could match their AIM-120 range or their sensor capability with their trackwall scan. Today, almost every modern high-fidelity aircraft module has a data link, or at the very least a human GCI that utilizes the data stream from AWACS and early warning radars. It's more critical than ever to win this information war by safeguarding your own stream and killing theirs. It's my view that some pilots out there are so dependent on a data link to tell them where to point their radar that many may have lost the ability to conduct a comprehensive search with their aircraft's radars. With such a vulnerability potentially present, the risk to reward ratio involved in flying into their territory to hamstring the enemy's situational awareness is a no-brainer. That's all I got for you today, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.